sometimes you need to use the distributive property when solving an equation. In this example, we see the 3 is multiplied by this group, 2x plus 4. So we have to distribute the 3. We have to multiply the 3 by the 2x and by the 4. That 3 gets multiplied by each term in the parentheses there. And we need to do that first. So let's take the left side and multiply the 2x by 3, and we get 6x. And when we multiply the 4 by 3, we get 12. So the left side is 6x plus 12. And on the right, I have 5x plus 15. Now I can proceed to isolate x. If I subtract 5x, then on the right, the x's will be gone. If I subtract 5x on the right, I also have to subtract 5x on the left. Now on the left, 6x and the minus 5x, those two terms combine to give me a 1x. And I still have this plus 12 on the left. So the left side simplifies to x plus 12. On the right side, the 5x and the minus 5x cancel out, leaving me with 15. So x plus 12 is 15. Now you might be able to see at this point that x equals 3, because 3 plus 12 is 15. And that's fine. If at this point, if you want to write x equals 3, that's OK. Or you can go through this step. Subtract 12 on the left. That will cause the 12 and the minus 12 to cancel each other out, leaving me with x all by itself. And if we subtract 12 on the left, we have to subtract 12 on the right. And that leaves me with x on the left. On the right, I have 15 minus 12, which is 3 x equals 3. Here's another example that involves distributing. 9x plus 1 equals 4 times 2x minus 3. So I'll start by distributing the 4. So I'll rewrite the equation. 9x plus 1 equals, but on the right side, I multiply the 4 by the 2x, and I multiply the 4 by the 3, remembering that it is a negative 3. So 4 times 2x gives me 8x, and 4 times 3 is 12, but that's a minus 12. So I have 9x plus 1 equals 8x minus 12. Now I can subtract 8x from each side. On the right, the 8x's will go away, and on the right side, I still have this minus 12. And again, don't forget to keep that negative sign. After the 8x and the negative 8x cancel out, I'm left with minus 12 on the right. On the left, I have 9x minus 8x, which is 1x. And I also still have this plus 1. So I have x plus 1 equals negative 12. Now, to isolate x, to solve the equation for x, I can subtract 1 from each side. On the left, the plus 1 and the minus 1 cancel out, leaving me with x. On the right, I have negative 12 minus 1, which is negative 13. So that's my answer. x is negative 13. And another example with distributing in this example, I have to distribute on both sides. And I should do that first, before I start adding and subtracting things. I'll multiply the 7 by the 3x and multiply the 7 by the 2. So on the left side, I have 7 times 3x, which is 21x, plus 7 times 2, which is 14. On the right, I have to multiply the 5 times the 4x and by the 6. So 5 times 4x is 20x, and then 5 times 6 is 30. So I have 20x plus 30 on the right. Now, I have x's on the left and x's on the right. I want to get rid of all the x's on one side so that I have x's on only one side. 
and I'll get rid of the x's on the right by subtracting 20x. And if I subtract 20x from the right, I have to subtract 20x from the left. So I'll look at the left here. I have 21x minus 20x, which is just x. And I also have the plus 14. So my left side is x plus 14. On the right, I have 20x and negative 20x. Those combine to nothing, to zero. So I can just cross those both out. On the right side, I'm left with simply 30. So x plus 14 equals 30. Now to solve for x, I can subtract 14. And that means I also have to subtract 14 on the other side. On the left side, the plus 14 and the minus 14 cancel each other out. So x is now isolated. And on the right, I have 30 minus 14, which is 16.